Ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to welcome Mr. Crossy. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Now, how's your night been with Live to Ride, the 200th uh, episode, what do we call it, or issue? 200 no, issue. 200 issues for Pugs. Yeah. And bless you two. T a tissue, yeah, right, <laughs> okay. Yeah, 200 issues for Pugs, which is a milestone. That's really, beautiful. Really, really big. Are you proud of your boy? Yeah, he's great. Great guy to work with, looks after us. Uh, we work really well together. A lot yeah. of magazines, editors and advertising don't get on. We talk to each other all the time. We make sure everything's right, but the most important thing is the magazine. Yep. Right. And tell us a little bit about the magazine. Now, you're the advertising manager. Now, how did you come about that job? Uh, a friend of mine worked on Street Bike Magazine uh, seven years ago, and he left. He moved over from Live to Ride to Two Wheels, so they put me from Street Bike Magazine to Live to Ride. Beautiful. And, they, and you just slotted in there? Yeah, I did it well, no problem, because no, I've been riding bikes all my life. And, Love what it. kind of bike do you ride? Now I've got a couple of Harleys. Yeah, give us a little lowdown on what they look like. Uh, I've got two white fat boys. Beautiful. That I used to use for a wedding escort company. Yeah. And the guy just rang me a minute ago was inquiring about buying one of them. Tell me what um, what you love about Live to Ride magazine. Bikes, the people. Yeah. The friendliest people in the world, the yeah. bikies. The bikies, the bikers, um, they're just a great bunch of guys, they're real, they're true. Um, they they're like, very family orientated, very community orientated, aren't they? Yeah, they're very respectful. Yeah. Uh, if you respect them, they respect you. Yeah. That's the thing with the bikies, they're just a good bunch of guys and what you see and hear about them all the time is... So, it's perception, isn't it? It's what you see, you see this guy that does this and looks like that and you're just judging for that and yeah. it's not true. Do you think that things are ever going to change and if they were, how can we help the perception of the public that don't know anything about bikes, that don't know anything about the culture, how do we change their perception? Do you think it's things like your magazine? Do you think it's... Um, no, the magazine is more for them. It's yeah. not It's not so much for the person that wants to find out about them, it's, it's for them. But again, a lot of people do buy it too because of the, the image of it. If you put a heap of magazines on a table, most people will pick up Live to Ride before they pick they anything else up. And you know what, it's even the people who aren't involved in it, they will still pick it up because they're curious. Yeah, they want to see what exactly. the Exactly, and do. that's what you have to offer. Yeah. You have everything from an education yeah. to an entertainment platform, exactly. don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's good to work for. I get to go, I do photography with it too, some yeah. photos and that for the magazine. Uh, a little bit of editorial sometimes yeah. if they need help. So we all help each other. Great. Now, do you have any tattoos for yourself there, mister? Yeah, I've got a heap of tattoos. Can you show me one? Show us a little, a little bitty titty. Uh, what is it? It's, um, I don't know. I can't say anything. I didn't have a shave today, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, I know. Jays. You were coming and all. I've also got the right tattoo on my back. You do? Can we see that? Oh, Please awkward. show us that. You don't want to see my fat belly? Oh, yes, we do. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, Live to Ride. Hi, I'm Crossy from Live to Ride magazine. Get out there and buy it. It's a great magazine. And good on your Tattoo Inc. for doing the interview and coming here tonight. Thanks, Crossy. Thank you. Mwah. <laughs>